Before I tell you this technique, we've got to do a quick story time. So I'm on a cruise ship playing piano in the show band, and there's this one production show where I have a solo. It's, it's not an improvised solo that I can kind of mess around with. It's an excerpt from Rhapsody in Blue, and it's really hard. I would sit there in the dark before the light came on, sort of running my fingers over the keys, trying to just trying to prime my brain to not mess it up. In this particular solo, it was just me. There was no one else playing. I was front and center on the stage, not in the pit, the spotlight literally shining on me. And every single time I had to play this, this solo, I just, I, I felt like I botched it over and over again, no matter how many times I practiced it. And some nights went better than others, but plenty of nights I crashed and burned and it, it was a nightmare. That feeling after playing the solo poorly in front of all those people it was awful, but what was almost as bad was the moment just before playing the solo when there was just this feeling of uncertainty, not knowing if I was going to do okay or not. It was like a, it was like hopelessness, actually. It was similar to, uh, to like going, going into auditions for music school. I remember just having this feeling of crossing my fingers, hoping for the best without having any confidence that I was going to do a good job. You know, people talk a lot about preparation and how that's the key to success. And, you know, you, you, you fall to your level of pre preparedness, something like that. But I think a, a more practical and specific way of talking about this concept of being prepared and practicing in a way that allows you to lit to deliver when when the spotlight is on you. The secret is in this technique and. I was just reminded of it recently. I was working on this this lick that was fast and had a lot of a lot of scales and arpeggios that I needed to just be able to play quickly and and not sound frantic. That's the other thing. Like being able to play fast and have it have it sound smooth and elegant and easy is is really really hard. And what I wanted to be able to do was I call it the uh, this is not the practice technique, but it's sort of it's adjacent. I call it the 3 a.m. test where I come into your room and I wake you up at three in the morning and I, and I ask you to play something or I ask you for the answer to a question like, what's the sixth scale degree of G flat major or something like that? Or I say, okay, go to your instrument and play me that lick that you've been working on and nail it the first time. Like that 3 a.m. test to be able to pass that test with flying colors, you need an exercise like the one I'm about to tell you. And it's a simple exercise. All you need to do is play whatever it is you're working on five times in a row without making a mistake. Very simple, not easy, but very simple. And just to be clear, if you mess up on the fourth time, you have to restart with the first, uh, the first pass. And if you consistently make mistakes on the second, the third, the fourth time, you, you need to reevaluate how you're practicing and what you're practicing. Meaning, if you're constantly making mistakes, you probably need to slow down or work on a smaller section of whatever it is you're working on. So those are the two key things, slow down or work on a smaller section. And once you're able to play it well and, and play it correctly five times in a row, then it's, it's a matter of increasing the tempo or expanding the segment that you're working on and being able to do that five times in a row with, before going on. And when you can do that, You'll have consistency, and consistency is, is highly underrated. So many people practice, they, they practice it wrong 20 times, and then on the 21st time they get it right, it's awesome, and they go on to something else. But your brain doesn't know the difference between right and wrong, at least the subconscious brain, the part that's like processing muscle memory and all of that. Sure, you know consciously that you're playing it right versus wrong, but the part that, that really counts is what's happening subconsciously. So you have to teach your subconscious brain what is right. And the only way to do that is by doing it the right way multiple times in a row. That's consistency. And consistency builds confidence. That's uh, a bumper sticker for you right there. Consistency builds confidence. But what I really needed back on that cruise ship was this approach to practicing where I would play it uh, slowly and I would play one bit at a time five times in a row without moving on to the next part or speeding up. And if I had done it that way, well, then when I went to do my my big solo in front of all those people with the spotlight on me, my hands wouldn't be sweating. I wouldn't be so concerned about playing it right because I would have the confidence in my ability to do so, to, to nail it when the time comes. And it's just not enough to be able to play it once. It's, it's, just, it's not. Because when the pressure's on in, in, a, in a, an audition or in a performance, when those nerves are going, you need to 
have done it multiple times in a row without any mis- mistakes. And, and the beautiful thing is that you're going to have a lot more fun playing in front of people and in high pressure situations because you'll believe in your abilities. You'll, you'll believe in yourself. It's not a woo woo thing to believe in yourself. It's just a matter of proving to yourself that you can do something correctly the way you want to do it over and over and over again. If you want to learn more about my approach to practicing, whether it be uh, soloing and improvisation or playing chords and and chord progressions and reharmonization and and all of that, I have several courses that you can check out in the description below. But for now, thanks for watching. And if you want to check out another video with some, uh, hopefully some wisdom that I can offer you about how to make uh, your playing and your music better, you can check out this video right here. Thanks for watching. Bye.